What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna be doing an all my animals video and don't mind my hair obviously because of quarantine I can't get a haircut or anything. So we're gonna be starting off inside I'll show you all the snakes the lizards and the turtles that I have in here and a lot of animals that you guys haven't seen yet There's a lot of animals that I haven't even shown on YouTube uh, Some that I haven't even shown on any other platforms So I'm gonna basically go through them tell you a little bit about them where I got them and all that good stuff And then we'll go outside and I'll show you all the other animals like the birds iguanas tortoises all that good stuff So yeah, make sure you stick around also I almost forgot to tell you guys if you guys want make sure you leave some questions in the comment section, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A in the future. So make sure you guys leave some questions. I'm obviously not gonna be answering it in the comment section because if not, it kind of defeats the purpose of making the video. All right, so the first animal that I'm gonna show you guys is a female leopard gecko. And this girl is actually for sale on my website, shadowsreptiles.com. If you guys are interested in her, you could get her on there. A lot of the animal, well, not a lot of them, but some of the animals you'll be able to find on there i'm not i'm probably not going to tell you all the ones that you could get but you could just go check out shadowsreptiles.com and you'll be able to see what i have there for sale so yeah that's a female leopard gecko and i got her um i went to broward which is a county about like an hour away from me and i picked her up and i picked up a couple a couple ball pythons and i already sold all the all the snakes and she's the only one that hasn't sold yet all right, the next animal right here is the snapping turtle. A lot of you guys probably know him uh, because I uploaded two videos about him in the past couple days. And this guy, he came with all the baby leopard tortoises in a shipment, got him wholesale. Uh, wholesale is basically when you buy uh, a lot of things for a cheaper price. Next animal right here is actually not a reptile. It's an invertebrate, it's a scorpion, an emperor scorpion. You can see him right there. Let me see if I could pull them out a bit. So you guys can see them better. There we go. An Emperor Scorpion. And I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can so that I can show you all the animals without taking too long in the video. The next animal is Beak. He's a green tree python, uh, Beak locality. There he is. He is a male and I bought him at a pet shop because I was trying to breed him with Aru, which is my female green tree python. So here's Beak, the green tree python. This guy is not too happy. He does not like being messed with at all, but there he is. He's a really cool snake. And since his last shed, he's got a lot of nice colors. And there he is jumping at the camera. And I've actually been bit by this guy a lot. He's the only snake I think that I have that. Well, no, I've also been bit by the carpet pythons over there. But yeah, now I'm gonna have to leave this open so that he doesn't bite the glass. But look at the colors on him. He went through shed. I actually hadn't seen him since he went through shed because he's been hiding the whole time and I haven't really been messing with him. But the greens on him look... Oh, he actually just got my hand right there. He bit my hand, but luckily he got my shirt so it didn't, uh, didn't go through. But I felt his teeth rub against my skin. That was pretty crazy right there. Um, yeah, but this guy's insane. Right here. Not right here. On the side of the enclosure. You guys probably can't really see it, but there's one of his fangs right right there that that thing actually got stuck inside my arm and i pulled it out and put it right there because i thought it was kind of cool so there he is big the green tree python all right so the next one is aru she's also a green tree python as you can see she's much more tame this girl was a rescue and she's probably one of my most tame snakes i've been bit by her before but it wasn't anything too crazy. She's only bit me twice. It was once when I was feeding her and once uh, when I came in here at night. As you guys might know, snakes are more active or most some snakes are active only at night, which GTPs are one of those snakes. Um, and what happened was I had the flash on because I was recording something and I put my hand on there. And since she was adjusted to the darkness, the flash actually blinded her a little bit and she didn't see me. So when I touched her, she bit me because when snakes can't see, they'll go off of feel instead of sight. All right. And then here is a mangrove snake. I'll show you guys a small clip of him and I got him online. You guys could check out the unboxing if you'd like to see that. All right. So here's a little close up of the mangrove snake. I just want to show off the stuck shed. You can see it right there on the nose. And a lot of it actually came off when I was trying to pin him down. So when I actually get a hold on him, he barely has anything left. So I just missed him down a bit. 
and finish cleaning them off. All right, and right here I got my two carpet pythons. This one right here is the male. This one's a jungle carpet python, and this guy, uh, this girl, is a coastal carpet python. I've been trying to breed these guys. So far, I've only got one lock, and I don't think I'm probably gonna get any more because they've been in here a little a while together, and they haven't bred yet or bred again since that time. So hopefully we get some of these babies soon, but this is the first time that I breed these guys. The next guy is, um, well, he doesn't have a name, but he's a black tree monitor, a male black tree monitor. And I actually bought this guy so that I could resell him if you guys are interested in purchasing him. He's on my website. This guy is a really expensive animal. I have him cheaper than you'll find in other websites, but he's still expensive as is. So if you guys are interested in him, is on shadowsreptiles.com. Definitely one of my favorite lizards out here though. Um, I, I, I'm, decide, I'm like debating whether I should take him off the website because I'm really starting to fall in love with him. He's such a cool lizard and he's becoming so friendly. So I'll probably just leave him in there a couple more weeks or a couple months and then I'll take him off. I don't think anybody's gonna buy him though. Especially now with uh, all the quarantine stuff going on, people aren't really looking to make such a pricey investment. But this guy is so cool, one of my favorite lizards. Definitely need to upgrade his enclosure soon. This was Aru's old enclosure and he's starting to get huge, so we're gonna have to move into a bigger one. Uh, when you get a monitor like this, you definitely wanna get a smaller enclosure at first so that he's more comfortable in his surroundings. He could find food easily and so that he doesn't uh, so that he gets more comfortable with you. As you can see, he got a little spook there. I'll just drop this guy in there and he'll hunt him down. But you want to keep him in a smaller environment so that you can get him trained up more easily. And then I'll move him into one of the bigger enclosures, like the ones that I have for the snakes. And the next guy is, well, it's actually a girl. It's a red tegu. And this girl, I brought her inside recently because I had to put the leopard tortoises where she was outdoors. If you guys didn't see that video, make sure you check it out. That video was great. It was the unboxing 11 new animals or new reptiles. And uh, I, me and my friend had to get her and it was a pretty funny video. So make sure you guys check it out. But yeah, she's not she's not too crazy uh, when she's indoors, but when she's outdoors, she becomes super aggressive. So you can see right now she's calm and she's covered in dirt because she was sleeping under the water bowl, which I moved to get her out of there. But <laughs> she, she looks kind of funny with all that dirt on her head. All right, so yeah, this girl, I actually bought this girl off of Craigslist. So if you guys are interested in her, make sure you check it out on uh, shadowsreptiles.com. You'll be able to get her on there. And then in the incubator, we got all the eggs as well. If you want to count that, there's so about a 200 more animals in there, more or less, you know. But uh, these guys, they will be for sale on Shadows Reptiles. It's, I think these are all, yeah, these are all tortoises right now. I got Sulcatas, Redfoots, and Herman's tortoises that are going to be available this summer on shadowsreptiles.com. Some of them are already available, so make sure you go check it out. And the next animal is Gracie. She's the princess here at Shadows Reptiles. She's the, she's the one that's always helping me with my videos, always following me around. And whenever you hear some type of snoring or wheezing, that's gonna be her right there. Cause obviously she's a pug and she's got the little nose. And yeah, she's a great dog. All right, and now all the baby leopard tortoises which I got on the same unboxing video where I got the common snapping turtle and when I had to catch the red tegu. And these guys, I'm gonna be selling them and I'm gonna be keeping some of them as well. If you guys are interested in getting them, they're already up on my website, shadowsreptiles.com. And yeah, that's probably the last time I'm gonna mention that. There's other animals as well, but I'm kind of tired of repeating the same thing. If you guys are interested in some type of animals, just go check it out. Also got the merch and all that good stuff. All right, and in here we have some baby tortoises, some baby redfoot tortoises hatched out by yours truly right here. I hatched these guys out myself, and I have a bunch of these guys, but they're all under the sphagnum moss, so let me see. And this moss here is just for humidity, to add a little bit of extra humidity. And yeah, I have about nine of these guys, or actually seven of them are for sale because I already sold two of them that I haven't been able to ship. But yeah, these guys are awesome, and, and you know what to do if you want one in line, I'll say it again. But they're also available. And here are all the redfoot tortoises. They were just eating some leaves that I left for them this morning. Oh, this girl was about to rush me. 
and these guys are the ones that gave birth to the or uh, laid the eggs that I hatched out for the baby redfoots and then they're all coming over here now these guys are really friendly tortoises that uh, always come out these guys are I got most of them on Craigslist that one belonged to a follower of mine that she didn't want to take care of him anymore so she sold them to me and I have another male and then this guy he was also uh, from a follower of mine that he gave it to me uh, I didn't have to buy this guy he was a rescue I took him in it was one of my followers that I sold the tortoise to last year and he didn't find this guy but he took him in because the previous owners didn't want him and then he decided to give it to me so that I could give him a better home and now he's with all the other redfoot tortoises doing amazing so far this guy loves to escape he's already escaped three times i always find them walking around with the sulcatas which i'm going to show you now these guys destroyed the trees over here that i had i had two big trees like this one they destroyed it all right next ones are the hermes tortoises these guys are the smaller tortoises that i have they're already adults one more right there these guys seem so as the redfoots i got all of these on craigslist except that one right there and this one right here which i got out of pet shop near me i got these two first and then i decided to buy some more i bought the whole group on craigslist from one person the next guys the cuban rocky one is these guys were rescues as well this is the female her name is bonnie and hold on her name is bonnie and you can see she has a little kink on her tail right there and we have clyde over here and these guys are really friendly iguanas that I got, Cuban rock iguanas. And if you want to see them, uh, make sure you check out the the Shadows Kitchen. That was kind of a joke, but yeah, make sure you check out that video and you'll see them eating. These guys are really friendly iguanas. Hopefully this is what Kodos is going to be like. But since Kodos is a spiny tail iguana, he's probably never going to be as friendly as these guys. Or he might never even be friendly at all. Alright, and now I have the female Sulcata tortoises. This is Nyx. Luna and Shadow back there in her hide so yeah these guys this was my first one I got her at a pet shop and then these two I got on Craigslist as well a lot of the tortoises came from the same either the same pet shop or Craigslist but yeah all right so now we're here in the aviary with all the cockatiels these guys are getting ready to lay some eggs hopefully they do that soon and here they are most of these guys aren't tamed up but this this one is i don't know why he doesn't like coming up to me now come on kuko you're making me look bad all right but yeah anyways these two are the ones that are tamed up and the other ones do not like me even recording them i guess but yeah these two don't mind me as much all right and now the next guy is tank the sulcata tortoise and this guy is 17 but yeah i've had this guy my whole life i got him from a breeder when i was three years old he's the father to all the baby sulcata tortoises he's produced about 200 babies already and the last guy probably the most long-awaited one cuddles the spiny tailed iguana he's all the way back there let me see if i could go on the side he's probably not gonna like that too much but there he is and this guy i've been feeding him some bananas and he seems to have ate it i don't know if it might have fallen through the ground uh but i definitely don't see it uh where i put it so i think he did eat it and he's been pooping and all that so he doesn't look like he's sick or anything looks healthy i'm gonna see if i'm gonna be able to try to film him eating on camera he's not too scared um i, I saw on catch him video whenever catch him peeked over into the enclosure he started hissing um, he's not really hissing at me or anything. He doesn't even open his mouth. Uh, yesterday I was like, he was right here and I was like this close to him. He didn't say anything until I touched his tail and then he started hissing a bit. And I know this enclosure isn't too good for him, uh, but I haven't been able to make him anything new with quarantine and all that. So hopefully as soon as everything is over, I'm gonna be able to get him a brand new enclosure that's a lot nicer, uh, probably a lot bigger too, so that he'll be able to be happier than he is right now. And I'll see if I could get him eating on camera one of these days. Uh, but right now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and leave some comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day.